Savior, Jesus Christ. Can can you just help me, amen, as the Psalms to say is in the 34th uh, division of Psalm, the third verse, when they say, Oh, magnify the Lord oh, with me and let us exalt his name Hallelujah. together. Amen. Can we just give God honor and praise? Hey, glory, have mercy, because he's truly been good until he's been wonderful. He's been kind. He's been amazing. Amen. And I thank God that he is my father. I thank God that he is the God of gods, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords. Amen. To his name we give glory today. Amen. If you would, amen, in the book of 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, amen, beginning in verse 27, you will find these words. You will find these words. Amen. The Bible says, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. He said, But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. He said, For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Amen. To, to God be the glory. Amen. As we prepare in the recognition of what the Father uh, God did by the giving of his Son, Jesus Christ, and, and Christ Jesus for the gift of salvation, let us take a moment to clear our hearts and minds before receiving uh, Holy Communion. Amen. Amen. The scripture said, let a man examine himself. Amen. So, so whatever you got to examine and, and put before the Lord, take the time to do that now. Oh, bless your name, God. Bless your name. Bless your wonderful and mighty name. Bless your name, God. Bless your name. Amen. Amen. In, in that same chapter, amen, the glory, have mercy. Let, let, first of all, let, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory, honor, and praise, God. We thank you, God, for this wonderful opportunity, God, to be partakers of Holy Communion. Uh, that, is, that has been designed by you, God, by the giving of your Son and, and salvation that comes through uh, the blood of the Lamb, Christ Jesus. So we honor you today, God. We pray now, God, that these sacraments be cleansed, purged, sanctified in your name, God, and used in these willing earthen vessels, God, to do the will of God. We love you, God. We appreciate you, and we do thank you. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen, amen, amen and amen. Well, saints, in that same book of 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, and beginning at verse 23, the apostle Paul writes this. He said, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same um, night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had, uh, I'm sorry, and when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. In verse 25, it says, after the same manner, also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as oft as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Let the church say amen. 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 And amen. If you would, turn with me to the book of Galatians. Amen. The book of Galatians. Amen. We'll be in the uh, second chapter of Galatians today. When you're there, say amen. Uh, uh, you can lift your hands online. Amen. So first lady, uh, Evangelist Watson, to know that you got it. Amen. Uh, Galatians, the second chapter, verses beginning at verse 19. But before we read, I, I want to say this about communion. Amen. If you desire to have communion with us, amen, and you don't have any at the house, uh, send us a text, send us an email so that we can get your address and we can send you some communion so that you can partake in, in, in that with us on first Sunday. Amen. Or, or whenever the Lord's um, deem necessary for us to take it, you'll have it. Amen. Amen. With that being said, in the book of Galatians, the the second chapter, uh, three verses for your reading. Amen. 
Galatians, the second chapter, beginning at verse 19. It said, For I, through the law, am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, not yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Amen. Uh, uh, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we give you glory, honor, and praise. We thank you now, God, for allowing us once again to share the rich word of God with the people of God. I pray now, God, that our hearts, God, uh, that the foul ground is broken up so that the word of God shall be received. And I ask now, God, as thy servant, God, that thou will grant unto me by the gift of thy spirit, God, thy wisdom, thy knowledge, thy understanding, thy power, thy might, thy counsel. Let the, let the anointing of the living Lord not only fall afresh, God, but come on in, God, and have thine way. And may we be found, God, so carefully giving you all glory, all honor, and all praise. For it's in the precious and mighty name of your son, Jesus the Christ, we do pray this prayer that the people of God say amen, amen, amen and amen. Well, saints, uh, uh, statistically speaking, Galatians is the 48th book of the Bible. It contains six chapters, 149 verses, 3,098 words, 19 questions, 144 verses of history, one fulfilled and four unfulfilled prophecies. Its theme was to correct the fickle Galatians from further backsliding and following the legalizing, Judaizing teachers from Judea and to set them straight regarding the relation of Christians of the New Testament with the, Christ with the Jews of the Old Covenant. Amen. To God be the glory. My, my uh, information comes from the King James Version. Amen. Well, saints, uh, uh, as we examine the text in Galatians, amen, uh, today I simply want to speak to you from the topic of dying to live. Uh, tell, you, tell your neighbor dying to live. If, if there's nobody in the house but you, tell yourself dying to live. Amen. Well, uh, uh, in this particular passage of the Bible in Galatians, amen, uh, as we could, uh, examine the text, we find the Apostle Paul. And the Apostle, Apostle Paul, if you read this chapter in verse 11, uh, uh, he confronts the Apostle uh, Peter, amen, and, and he chastises the Apostle uh, Peter in verses 14 through 18. Uh, uh, as a reminder, leadership, once again, Proverbs 24 and 23 uh, explains to us, these things also belong to the wise. It is not good to have respect of persons in judgment. Oh, uh, those that belong unto the Lord are chastened by him for the keeping of the gospel and the saving of one's soul from hell fire. Therefore, leaders, uh, let us be reminded, we're not here to point out people's wrongs, uh, but we are to show them God's right. <laughs> oh, glory, have mercy, amen. But, but here in this particular book of Galatians, amen, uh, what had happened is that the, Peter, uh, the apostle Peter, uh, uh, he was sent to the, uh, the Jews. Amen. And, and the Apostle Paul was sent to the so-called Gentile. And, and what had happened is that Peter would be with the, 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 the Jews, amen, delivering the word of God. And, and then uh, Peter was spending some time with the Gentiles. And, 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 but when certain folk came around of the Jews, uh, Peter would this himself from the Gentiles and, and, and go with the Jews. And, 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 and when uh, the Apostle Paul got a hold of it, the Apostle Paul said, I, I, I confronted uh, Peter to his face. Amen. He said, I didn't go behind his back. I, I didn't talk about him, but, but I confronted him because the Apostle Paul was simply trying to get the Apostle Peter to understand from last week that uh, uh, one size fits all. <laughs> the same salvation for the Jews was the same salvation for the Gentiles. And the same 
same salvation for the Gentiles was the same salvation for the Jews. Amen. Oh, glory. Have mercy. Amen. The apostle Paul said, uh, uh he went on further to explain it in Galatians, the, the second chapter, and he gets to verse number 19 and through 21. He says, for though the law, he says, for I through the law am dead to the law. He said that I might live unto God. He said, I am crucified with Christ. He said, nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, he said, I live by the faith of the Son of God, <laughs> who loved me and gave himself for me. He said, I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness came by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Well, saints, glory, have mercy. When I look at, at this and I began to, to think about the things that I've, I, I, I've gone through this week, uh, 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 the things that I've talked about and conversed about, amen. And, and when I look at it, the, the topic of, 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 of dying to live came about. Well, uh, uh, when we examine this, when we read, amen, when we look at uh, uh, this thing we call life, uh, uh, most people uh, uh, today, they do just the opposite, amen. They, they don't, uh, 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 they are not dying to live, they, they live to die, amen. Well, 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 what you mean, Pastor? Well, putting it mildly, it, it is the principle of this world, amen, and, and the principle of this world, when I was growing up, amen, uh, we had a saying when folks told us what to do, amen, we would simply say, the only thing I got to do is live, die, and pay taxes, amen, that, 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 that's what we used to say, amen, and, and little did we know uh, that was just grooming us for the principles of this world, the, the standards of this world. Amen. You know, because in this world, amen, this world tells us to go ahead on and, and get fame. It tells us to go ahead on and, and get glory. It tells us to go ahead on and get notability and, and, and be somebody, be, be, be prominent, stand out, be a star, you know, be, be a VIP. Amen. Uh, go ahead on and get the glory. Make a name for yourself. Oh, God. Amen. That, that, that's what this world does. And, and this world would tell you, go, go ahead on and, and, and live before you die. Amen. It, it'll tell you to, to get your bucket list together and, and, and begin to fulfill everything on your bucket list. Why? Why? Because the world got to stand by which they want you to live. So, so they tell you to live to, to die. Amen. That, 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 that's what the world tells us, uh, I mean, uh, 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 the, the, the Bible explains this in 1 John, the uh, uh, first John, second chapter, verse 15, the writer points it like this. If they love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. He said, if any man love the world, the, the love of the Father is not in him, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Then he goes on in the 17th verse, he said, and the world passes away in the lust of earth, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Well, but before I get there, I, I, I need to go back to this live to die, amen, because the world we live in, is say, man, look at here, you know, uh, you work hard, amen, uh, get what you want, amen, buy the, 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 the fancy houses, buy, buy the fancy cars, buy the fancy clothes, amen. Get, get jewelry all the way up to your elbow, amen. Have it from your neck all the way down to your chest where your sternum comes in. It, it tells you to go get all these wonderful things. Buy the gold, amen. Buy, 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 buy everything that you can get. Live to that. that, 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 that that's what the world uh tells us amen uh, spend everything you earn amen glory hammer don't, don't mind having the installment payments because you still look good you you still somebody amen it'll tell you go ahead on live uh uh, uh to the point amen that, that people want to be like you this is what the world tells us amen uh, what you see if you see it and you want to go and get it I'm saying you you gonna die so so you might as well live 
before you die. This, 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 this is what the world tells us. And, and so from an early age, amen, uh, 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 whether we know it or not, sometimes we are groomed already in the principles of this world. Uh-huh. I, I told y'all, I, I love saying, amen, I, I ain't got to do nothing but live, die, and pay taxes. That, 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 that's what I was I, I saying was. But, but it was only because the people uh, before us, uh, the adults in our lives, amen, glory, have mercy, they, 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 they live to die. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory. Amen. Be to God. They, 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 they had everything they wanted. Amen. They, they went in debt to get what they wanted, but 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 they were gonna live before they died. Amen. Anybody can 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 can, can testify to Amen. that. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. Have mercy. And and so this worldly principle. Amen. Glory. It it takes over our lives. Amen. We 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 have a standard of living by the world. Amen. And and then one day we. Uh, uh, meet Jesus, amen, and and when we meet Jesus, amen, he begins to change us from the inside out, and, and in that change, he begins to change our minds, amen, and, and because he begins to change our minds, we begin to be like the apostle Paul, we begin to say, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, amen, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. In other words, uh, uh, Paul, the Apostle Paul began to say, all these material things, amen, they, they don't really uh, have all the importance that we really give them. Okay. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. And, and even Jesus, amen. Uh, Jesus put it this way for us. Uh, and, 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 and John, the 14th chapter, um, verses 1 through 3, Jesus said, He said, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. He said, In my Father's house are many mansions. He said, If it were not so, I would have told you. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Well, I know you're saying, Pastor, what does that have to do uh, uh, with the topic for today? Uh, uh, dying to live. Well, I'm, I'm glad somebody asked. Because when Jesus used this, amen, it was not a matter of Jesus going to, uh, 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 how can I say it? Uh, first of all, let, 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 before I say it, let me give you a definition of prepare, amen, so, so that you can follow me here. Because uh, Jesus said, well, he said, I go to what? To prepare a place for you. But, but it wasn't in the aspect that the place wasn't already there. See, uh, Jesus, if you notice in John, the 14th chapter, uh, he says in verse 2, he said, in my father's house are many mansions. So it's not like it wasn't already there. Amen. Uh, when we look at prepare, prepare in a general sense means to fit, adapt, or qualify for a particular purpose in use, service, or state. Amen. Uh, such as we prepare ground for seed by tillage. Amen. Uh, we prepare cloth for use by what? Dressing. Uh, we prepare medicines by uh, polarization and mixture and etc. We prepare young men and women for college by what? Previous instruction. Uh, uh, we prepare men and women are prepared for professions by what? Suitable study. Amen. So, so what Jesus was saying here, uh, part of what he was saying, uh, 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 he was saying that, look, uh, uh, if I don't leave, he said, because I'm prepared to leave. Amen. He said, and if I don't leave, uh, you won't get what's necessary for you to get to where I'm going. All right. Well, well watch this here now. Be because watch this here. Uh, uh, Jesus knew that if he had a stayed, that the apostles, the disciples, the Christians wouldn't have got what they needed. I know some of y'all saying, but how are they not going to get what they needed if, if, if Jesus was around? Amen. Because Jesus was not going to undo uh, the law of nature. Uh, uh, what you mean, Pastor? Uh, it's appointed for every man to die. 
and then the judgment. So Jesus wasn't going to stay around to me and you got here some 200 years, late 2,000 years later, amen, just to stick around so you can say Jesus, what, 25, 2,600 uh, uh, 2, years old? Uh, no, 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 no. And everybody else gone, and he's still trying to spread the gospel to us. No, he's not going to do that. So Jesus said, I'm prepared, what? To leave. Because if I leave, you'll get what's coming down. Amen. Uh, somebody said the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Amen. God. Why? Because you're going to need it in order to fulfill what I have for you. Not only to fulfill what I have for you, but even to get to heaven. Watch, oh watch this here. Oh, Y'all follow me for a moment here now. Well, see, uh, uh, in preparing, uh, preparing also means uh, to make oneself ready. <laughs> so here Jesus is uh, 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 preparing to, pre being prepared to leave so that you can get the Holy Ghost. What? So that you can be prepared uh, to meet him in the place that he already what, got for you. Uh oh, watch this here. Amen. So, so, so here Jesus is. Jesus said, "I'm prepared a, a place for you, and I'm I'm prepared to leave. And and when I leave, uh, you're gonna get uh, something that's going to help you. Now, watch this. Here. Why is it so important? Uh, this is part. Uh, this is, is part of the reason why the gift of the Holy Ghost is important. Because without it, Amen. Watch this. Uh, we all have experienced people in our lives." Uh, uh, that were uh, 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 born again, sanctified, set apart, uh, 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 walking in the salvation of God. Amen. But but watch this here. Uh, uh, just like the disciples, Jesus was with them every day. Mm -hmm. So they knew Jesus. They knew he was holy. They knew he was righteous. They knew he was just, but it didn't keep them from sinning. Oh, my God. Yes, they did. Oh, that's good, Pastor. Oh, oh, help me here. See, because even Peter, the same Peter that's being uh, 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 chastised by Paul, the same Peter of uh, glory, have mercy, what, denied God. Even though God what, walked with him daily, amen, he still what, denied him. Why? Because he had no power on the inside. Uh -oh, see, see, we've all had people in our lives. Amen. We knew they were living holy. We knew that they were doing right. We knew they were seeking God, but their doing was not enough for us to stay in line. Jesus. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Glory. Hell mercy. Uh, come on now, cause cause even c growing up, uh, uh, we we knew the word of God. Uh, we was taught the word of God. We we were taught not to kill, not to steal. Amen. Not to lie. Uh, not to be a gospel. Not to be a backbiter. But yet, even in our growing, some of us still did those things. Uh, uh, can I rephrase that? Uh, all of us did some of those things. Amen. Even though we had people in our lives that were, that were upright and just, we still did some of those things. Uh-oh, glory. Oh, Have mercy. Oh. <laughs> Help us today, Jesus. Help us today. So, so therefore, uh, 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 it was not enough. Uh, Jesus said, I got to leave. I, I got to go. Amen. Because, because I need you to get uh, 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 the ground. Uh, 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 I need you to be able to, to tillage the ground. Amen. <laughs> I need you to be able to dress the cloth. Amen. <laughs> Glory. Have mercy. I, I need you to be able to mix the medicine for use. Amen. I, I, you understand what I'm saying? I, I need you to have the instructions to be ready to where you're going. Amen. So, so Jesus leaves and now comes the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. And that gift, amen, uh, 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 somebody say it opens up a uh, horizon. <laughs> we began to see the word of God in a different light. Yes. Amen. Uh, somebody say understanding comes through it. Amen. Uh, Amen. Knowledge comes through it. Amen. Uh, oh, Lord, it's gifted with wisdom. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. So, so even in Romans, the eighth chapter, verse 12 through 14, uh, it, uh, it helps the apostle Paul along here in the book of Galatians. Amen. Uh, Romans 8, 12 through 14 say, therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. He said, for if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. 
For as many as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen. Glory be to God. Somebody say, die to live. Amen. Uh, 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 dying to, to live. Amen. See, uh, I'm dying to live. I mean, I, 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 I believe in Romans. He was simply telling us when he said, mortify the deeds of the body. Amen. So you got to mortify the deeds of uh, 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 the principles of this world. Amen. Ah, uh, uh, you got to mortify the flesh. You got to mortify the lust thereof. Amen. I, I love my wife. Amen. Lord knows I love that girl. Amen. And, 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 and she desires that I have uh, some of the, the finer things of life. Amen. And so, so every now and then she would tell me, baby, you, you deserve that, or baby, you deserve this. Amen. There have been occasions when she went out and bought me something that she thought I deserved. Amen. Glory be to God. But 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 I find myself now here uh, with the apostle Paul. Amen. Uh, uh, material things don't move me much. Amen. Matter of fact, they're getting to the point that they don't move me at all. And the reason for that is because I'm dying to live. Amen. I'm dying to live in a place of uh, glory. Have mercy. See, I, I was taking a stroll this morning when I was walking my dog and I was looking in my neighborhood at some of the finest houses there are. Amen. Uh, people live pretty good uh, uh, out here. Amen. And, and I began to look at the brick housings, amen, the, the five bedroom, the four bedroom, the spaciousness of, of, of the place, amen, and, and then I found myself again in this scripture, amen, and, and you said, well, Pastor, how did you find yourself in the scripture, amen, because I'm dying to live, amen, uh, I found out, amen, that, that even when Paul was talking, amen, and, and Paul said, this in uh, uh, Galatians, the second chapter, verse number two, uh, Paul said, uh, I mean, in verse number 20, Paul said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, uh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. All right. All right. Well, go, go with me now. I'm, I'm, I'm still talk about these houses. Amen. In Colossians, the third chapter, beginning at verse one, you will find these words. If, they, if ye then be risen with Christ, he will seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. He goes on in verse number two. He says, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. He said, for ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. He said, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. He said, mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil conspicuous and covetousness, which is adultery. He said, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. Amen. So, so here we are. Amen. Uh, 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 I, I, I like to have things. Amen. But, but I don't ever want the things to have me. Amen. And, and because of that, amen, uh, 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 because of the scripture, amen, I focus my mind, my heart, my thoughts, my needs on what's going on in hell. Oh, somebody help me today. Amen. Because I realize that even in the houses we have, even in the the, the, the clothes we have, even in the uh, 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 the flashy uh, 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 jewelry we have, e even in the fine cars we have, amen, I, I found out that none of those things are, are going to be in heaven, amen, oh y'all don't hear me here, uh, uh, there are no brick houses in heaven, amen, matter of fact, the things that we try so hard to get, the jewelry we wear on our hands, we put in our mouths, we put on our necks. Uh, the Bible tells me that even the streets in heaven will be made of gold. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. There won't be no brick houses. They, they won't make it to help Somebody help me. Oh, they won't make it to heaven. Amen. So why should I, 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 I live to die on things that won't make it to where I'm going? Jesus. So now <laughs> I die to live. Amen. In, in other words, every day 
Amen. I, 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 I'm mortifying uh, uh, my mind. Amen. When it comes to the things of this world. Uh, uh, ah, Lord, have mercy. Why? Be, be, because my affection is set on high. My affection is set on Christ Jesus. My affection is set on getting to the prepared place that he has for me. My, my affection is set on, oh, somebody help me today. See, see, I'm dying uh, to live in righteousness. I'm, I'm dying to live in holiness. I, I'm dying to live in sanctification. I, I'm dying to live in justification. I, I'm dying to live in glorification. I, I'm dying to live with Jesus. Amen. And, and so now uh, uh, Jesus uh, has, uh, oh Lord, have mercy. Je Jesus, somebody say, uh, has put the ball in our court. Oh, Jesus. Amen. And, and, and he put the ball in our court simply saying, now that I've done my part, amen. Now, <laughs> now that I've prepared the place, now that I've, I've given you salvation, amen. Uh, uh, that prepare now means for you to make yourself ready to be with me, amen. Uh -huh. And, and, and if you're too busy seeking the things of this world, amen, you're going to miss, glory, have mercy, huh, what you should get. Huh, and that's preparation to meet the Savior. Jesus. Oh, 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 oh help us. Help, help, help us today, God. Help, help us today. Uh, uh, somebody say, I'm dying to live. Amen. I, I'm dying to live. Amen. No more uh, uh, living to die. I, I'm dying to live. And, and in dying to live, uh, I'm mortifying my mind. Amen. Uh, meaning that I, I, I am putting to death those things that are not like Christ Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Can I help y'all? You can't wait to heaven uh, get here to say, I'm, I'm going to put these things down. Somebody say, you got to put them down now. Amen. Because that's part of the preparation period uh, uh, to get ready to be with Jesus. Oh, God. Uh-huh. Somebody say, uh, 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 gossiping. Uh, I got to mortify. Uh, backbiting. I got to mortify. Inordinate affection. I got to oh. mortify. Let, let me put it another way uh, for you. Homosexuality. I got to mortify. Lesbianism. I got to what? Mortify. Uh, anything that's not like God. Uh, I got to mortify. Why? Because this is a preparation in order for me to get to the place that Jesus has already prepared. And in order to do that, I got to die to live. Uh, oh, I, I, I got to die to live. I got to die to these wants of the world so that I can live in Christ Jesus. Hey, 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 I don't care what your neighbor go get. I don't care how your neighbor is living. Amen. They can have the finest rise, the finest house, the finest cologne, the finest perfumes, the finest hair in their head, the finest gold on their body. Amen. But, but that has nothing to do with Jesus, my God. With me getting to heaven. What has to do with me getting to heaven is that daily I got to die to those things that do not glorify my God. Ah, oh, glory. Help us today. Amen. I, ah, in, in my mind. Amen. I, I got to mortify thoughts. Uh, oh, glory. Have mercy. That don't magnify the name of the Lord. Amen. And then uh, not only my thoughts, uh, but the, the lifestyle I live. Amen. Uh, I got to mortify it uh, if it don't give God glory. Yeah. Amen. Glory. Help us today. You can run to and fro. Get this and that. Amen. But the thing you ought to get, somebody say, is preparation. Preparation. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Help us all somebody say, die to live. No more living to die, but I'm dying to live. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Uh, I don't know about you. Amen. Uh, but I'm so glad. Amen. That Jesus thought enough about me uh, to put the ball in my cart. Amen. 
Oh, glory, have mercy. See, because the God we serve, amen, he's not the God that won't give you a choice, amen. See, if he wanted robots, uh, then he would have took your will away, amen. But he gave you a choice. Uh, uh, rather than live to die, uh, he gave you a choice to choose die to live, amen. When you chose salvation, uh, you chose a, 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 a new way. You chose from leaving a, a life a, 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 a life of, a, of living to die, uh, uh, to cross over to a, 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 a dying to live. Amen. And because of that, God is simply saying to you today, amen. And don't, 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 don't think God don't want you to have things. Amen. God don't want the things to have you. Amen. And, and, and most of us say, well, pastor, I, I, I don't fit that category. I got a little something in it. And so it, it, it ain't got me. Well, uh, there, there are some factors that you can determine on whether they got you or not. Amen. And if church is not a priority, they got you. Amen. Glory. Amen. If you stop tithing, they, 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 they got you. Amen. If you stop studying your word, they, 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 they got you. If you can't praise God in the midst of anything, they got you. Amen. If it's hard for you to raise your hands and tell God, thank you. They got you. If you get to just bust out in a praise, the bust out in, in, in glorifying and magnifying God, somebody say, they got you. There are some, some, some signs to let you know whether or not the things you got, got you. But if you are dying to live, you simply tell those things. I really ain't got to have you. Oh God. The only thing that I got to have, Jesus. that I got, is Christ Jesus. And because I got him, I'm, I'm willing to die to live. Oh, glory. Have mercy. So I'll tell the things of this flesh right now in the name of Jesus. By the gift of the Holy Spirit. My mindset is made up uh, to die to live. And if you're willing to die to live for Christ Jesus, <laughs> I want you to raise your hands right now wherever you are. <laughs> and I want you to just tell him thank you. Mm. <laughs> Glory. I want you to give him a praise uh, uh, from your belly, amen, from the depths of your soul, amen. I want you to just tell God how wonderful and marvelous and majestic he really is. Tell God you are dying to live in his presence. Uh, you are dying to live because you want to know him. You are dying to live because he is your God. Jesus, thank you, God. And you will not have it any other way. <laughs> hey, glory, thank you, God. Hey, hey, glory, thank you, God. <laughs> hey, glory, because my mind is made up. <laughs> I'm dying to live in the presence of of the Most High God. And so I thank God today <laughs> that we can find a resting place in Him. I thank God that He's given us His Spirit. He's given us salvation through his son. That God loved us enough to want to have fellowship and communion with us. <laughs> and the only thing we got to do is die to live. Die to live with the almighty God. And we must do it daily, church. We must do it daily. <laughs> there are no timeouts. There are no wait a minute, hold on. No, we got to die daily to live in God. 
So I just want to encourage you today. Go from living to die to dying to live. Because God, through his son, Jesus Christ, has made it possible for us to do. Tell your neighbor, I'm dying to live. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now for your word that has gone forth unto us, your people, God. We pray now, God, that we will truly understand and know, God, that we must die to live with you each and every day. God, we must practice walking in holiness and righteousness and justification and sanctification, uh, walking in the salvation by which you've made available through your son, Jesus Christ. And then uh, walking by the spirit of the Lord, that that lives on the inside, that guides us and leads us and instructs us and gives us the power, oh, through your son, Jesus Christ, to, to go on to see what the end will be. So help us, God, to continue, God, to mortify not only the deeds of the flesh, God, to, but to make sure that we mortify even the thoughts of our mind so that what we do, God, it will truly give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. For you are our God and we are your people. And we just say thank you, God. We love you. We appreciate you. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen, amen, <laughs> amen. amen. and amen. For those of you who are tuned in today, amen, and you do not know Jesus Christ in the pardons of your sin, we offer you Christ today, amen. We offer you the Son of the Most High God. In the book of Revelation, the third chapter, in verse 18, it begins like this. It said, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. And anoint thine eyes where I saw, that thou mayest see. <clears throat> as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. It's an open invitation from God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit unto you. Amen. It's an open invitation to come on into the house of God, the house of safety, the the place, amen, where God will continue to groom you as his son and daughter. So we offer you today, Christ Jesus. And for the born again Christian, amen, I want you to continue in the word of God. Be rooted, be ground, be settled, and be not moved, amen. Die daily so that we can live in Christ Jesus. Now for the church, amen, glory, have mercy. Let's be all we're supposed to be in God, amen. Let's walk according to the vocation by which he called us. Hey, glory, have mercy, amen, so that we can fulfill the will of God but in our lives, amen. So to God be the glory, amen. For those that have just received Christ, come on into the house. Find a place that's truly teaching and walking in the word of God. And, and I know with this pandemic going on, amen, most of us are, are still at the house. So, so continue to, to tune in to us, amen, and uh, tune in to somewhere where you can get the word of God, amen, so that you may grow to be a true disciple of Jesus Christ. Well, once again, we thank God for the gift of his spirit and for his anointing and his word, the, the revelation knowledge, the, the truth, that comes in Christ Jesus. And so we give God all glory, all honor, and all praise. Well, saints, we thank God for you and for you tuning in today. I pray that the word of God has truly um, blessed you and enriched your lives. Swallow the whole scroll, amen, so that we can walk uh, in the way that God called us. Amen. Glory be to God. 
And if all minds and hearts are clear, amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you now, God, for what we've experienced in your word. We thank you, God, that your word is, is true, it's alive, it's, it's living in us, God. And we pray, God, that we will continue to, to let your word have its way. Now, God, as we prepare, God, to depart from this meeting, God, from this time of fellowship and communion, not only with one another, but most of all, God, with you through your spirit, God. We pray, God, that you will go before us, speak in us, through us, and for us, and on our behalf, God by the gift of thy spirit given by thy son, God. And we pray that in all things, God, that the lives that we live, God, will be a true reflection of us dying to live with you. We love you, God. We appreciate you and we thank you. For it's in the precious and mighty and wonderful name of Christ that the children of God say amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Well, saints, amen. We thank God for allowing us to share with you the word of God. We pray that it has truly blessed you. It's been a privilege and an honor. Amen. And until we meet again, as always, be thankful, be blessed, and be in God.